What's good, y'all? It's your boy, John, back here at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Today is Monday, April 25th, and I'm here for another Wonder Woman update. Looks like they've got quite a bit done since the last update, so let's get on over there and check it out. So checking in over here by the entrance of Riddler's, you are going to notice the biggest change, which is they have installed the mid-course brake run right here. Good to see that they've got about two pieces installed. Uh, also looks like the brake pads are on top of it. And then also what you're going to notice in the background is they've got the top um, of that airtime hill done. So that is officially topped off. Doesn't look like uh, there's workers on site right now. They might be on lunch, but I'm going to be sticking around. Actually, the crane is moving right now. So I'm going to go check in over there and see what's going on. Here's an even better shot of the newly installed mid-course brake run. Let's zoom in for you guys so you can see it up close. You can definitely tell that some of the components are already installed on it. Doesn't look like everything, but um, at least the pads are on top that I can tell. So it looks like they're uh, getting some pieces of track over here. I'm not sure if they're going to be putting anything up, but they're settling that track um, right there and resting it on some pieces of wood. But there's also a couple other pieces of track in the area. I'm going to keep watching to see if they're going to decide to put up another piece. Uh, they do have the crane right there. So, uh, we'll see. It looks like they're about to hoist it. So, I'm going to stick around and cover that for you guys. It looks like they're going to be hoisting this piece of track. This is going to be the next piece to be installed. It's actually going to be the, you know, almost towards the bottom of the drop going up into the Raven dive turn. They're just situating the piece and orientating it to the way they need. And... Once they get that situated, they are going to be moving it over. It's going to be uh, installed right here. It's going to be actually on one of these bigger supports, you know, shorter, but you know, bigger supports right here and most likely go to that one. And attached to that piece of track right there, which is going into the Raven dive. As you can see here, they are hoisting the piece of track now. Looks like they're going to have to raise it pretty high to get it over these supports. And then they'll most likely turn. I'm not sure which way he's going to be turning. It appears to the right. And he's going to bring it over and drop it off. Let it land over here by where the bottom of the Raven Dive is. Sorry if it's hard to hear me right now, guys. I uh, My mic got messed up and I have to get a new one. Um, I'm trying to save up, actually, to get these new uh, DJI mics. So stay tuned for those, actually. But... Um, yeah, hopefully you guys can hear me fine. He's maneuvering it past these pieces of track right now. That um, airtime hill. Also, he is going to be bringing it over the mid course that was uh, just recently installed. I'm going to pick up in another clip in a second. 
Here you can see him lowering it down. He's cleared of the mid course and the airtime hill. Now he's lowering it into place um, so it can land on the supports that it needs to. You can see the piece uh, lowering right now into place. It's gonna attach to what appears to be two supports as well as the piece of track that is already installed. Now this is gonna be the very bottom uh, part uh, when it when you're looking at the left side of this piece of track, that's gonna be the very bottom piece, or I'm, I'm sorry, the very bottom of the drop uh, when this ride is all said and done. So I'll pick up in another clip in a little bit and uh, we'll show them install this piece. Here you can see it. the guys using the ratchet pulley system to angle the uh, piece of track to the angle that they need. Looks like they need to level it out a little bit more before having it land on the supports right there as well as linking up with the piece of track right here. So the next step for the process in a piece like this, because they actually have to pull it back up a little bit. So as you can see here, the piece of track is being supported by the crane, but um, the piece does need to come a little back up. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna use a ratchet, uh, you know, pulley system and attach it to the piece of track a little bit higher that's already installed and then attach it to the new piece down here and that way they can pull the two pieces together kind of like you know stitches or something like that and the two pieces will meet and then they could go ahead and install the bottom plate as well oops sorry about that as well as that top plate right there picking up right here you can see that the pieces of track are almost touching right now at this point uh, they are using the pin to get it into place. Once they get that, they'll be able to drop a few bolts in and keep it even more secure. But you can see that there's a pin right there going, uh, connecting actually the two pieces of track together right now to guide it into place. And um, they're almost touching as you can see. I'm gonna uh, pick up in a little bit. Okay, they're uh, detaching the piece, a track from the crane right now. It's actually fully supported now as we speak by the support, or actually not even by this support because it's not even touching that support yet, but it's supported by the bottom support. Also, it's uh, supported by that piece right there. It's attached to the other piece of track. You can see that there's a bolt connecting the two pieces of track. The, uh, it's not connected to the plate just yet, but it's connected with at least two bolts going into the pieces of track themselves. And um, it's secure down here at the bottom on that lower support, just kind of hard to see from here. 
but I can try and get another angle for you guys. Here's a quick look at the bottom support. It's being held up by right now. Doesn't appear that they've installed any of the bolts as of yet, but it's definitely secure because it's attached to the other piece of track and it's resting right on there with its own weight. It looks uh, like the guys are gonna be going home for the day. I'll be here for a little bit more, so I'll check back, but I kind of overheard people talking about they're gonna be going home after this piece, so um, I'll check in in a little bit, but if not, this will be the final piece of the day, and uh, we can wrap up this update in a little I want to just provide this angle. It's pretty cool now because you get to see the airtime hill topped off and actually get an idea of how tall that is, especially up against those palm trees and how you're going to be uh, coming over that airtime hill right there. Kind of a quick pan of everything that has been done as of this point, April 25th. Everything's looking really good. Right now we got the sun behind and you're able to see the track. And um, also, you know, the newest part are pieces that have been installed. Good to see. Um, hopefully they don't have to use that mid course too much we all don't really like mid courses but who knows we'll see how this one runs compared to Jersey Devil so it appears that the guys are taking off for today I've seen them uh, putting their equipment away and stuff like that even some of the guys already leaving so that's actually going to conclude today's update i appreciate everybody tuning in as always i'll be at the park um most likely tomorrow afternoon as well as uh wednesday after i take care of some work so uh, i'll make sure to cover everything that happens i uh, again i appreciate everybody tuning in thank you sir so much for the love comments and support and i will see you all on the next update till then this is john and this has been your theme park ERT.